Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use a new A32 Pro relay controller and download the firmware and how to use to your mobile phone application and how to use the wall switch panel and how to set for the interlock mode for your cotton or for your motor Okay, let's look at my computer and this is A32 Pro and you can see this is relay, a 32 channel relay and this is 40 channel digital input but this time we will let 32 channel digital input and link with 32 channel relay output by FTT command. Okay, let's look at my A32 Pro. You can see I have connect with the wall switch. Uh, because this video I just use this 6 gun, actually I have used the 4 gun, just the 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can see uh, there are connect to one, the black. Is ground KC that means ground and K1, K2, K3, K4 and you can see the cable have connect with the digital input you can see this is ground and this this all is digital input so I want I want one two three four and link with this relay one two three four actually you can set by FDD command uh, such as the digital input one and the triangle digital digital, uh, digital output uh, seventeen is also no problem. So you can see, uh, this is how I have one. Just you can see, uh, this will be clearly. Okay, uh, so you can connect with many wall switch. Uh, maybe you will ask me if I have one button, I uh, can this little one, whether I can have the second button or the third button or the fourth button, can the single, can the single layer. So it's no problem. If you want to use two button, two switch panel, just uh, uh, connect with the thing digital input part. Uh, maybe you connect with two button, three button, four button, or connect with the thing part. Is okay. So there's no limit uh, how many wall switch can be used. Just uh, connect it together. Okay. You can see in our form, we always will release some new firmware because sometimes we'll add new functions and sometimes we'll fix some bugs. Uh, this one is the newest one, 3.0.2 for AC32 Pro. So you can uh, go go to in our form and KCS firmware system, and this have upload uh, today, and we can click and just download this zip file and unzip you will have a bin file, and the ESP32 download tool just uh, you can download it here, and you can see uh, just I use this. ESP32 download tool. I can click, and this one chip choose ESP32 S3, and this one choose USB, and click OK. And before download firmware, make sure you have use this USB C cable. Uh, this USB C cable have connect with a computer's USB part. So just download the firmware by this USB part. Okay, you can see. We just, it's very easy, just uh, this not need to see it, just you can see, click this one, and click the files you have downloaded, uh, just uh, this file, this file you have downloaded and unzipped. So just fill uh, zero, the address is zero, and click choose this COM port, how have auto detect, and click start, so it's very easy. And now you can see uh, this began download and until this to 100% uh, is complete. Okay, uh, this one is finished. We can close this window and uh, back to my controller. And after download the firmware, you need power off and power on. So this will be running, and you will see uh, I have connected the Ethernet cable, and that, that can have uh, welcome information, and that will shoot uh, the IP address and the Wi Fi and the Ethernet IP address. So this one is work. The Tuya is offline. So the first, we can configure the Tuya mobile phone application, and you can see the red LED is blink fast so that means ready for prayer with the Tuya. 
So you can see I can plug at here. And this time you can remove your USB cable, not need to use the USB cable. And only the Ethernet. So you can see I can use this to your smart or you can use smart life application, no problem. And make sure you have enabled the Bluetooth. And you can see the auto discovered A32 Pro. We just click add. And this is your load SSID and the password. And the next. And when this red LED is not blink, that is complete. Okay, uh, you can see successfully. So this red LED is not bl stop blink. So click down. And this you can see the page is A32 Pro. So now you can see I can click uh, turn on relay 1 and turn on relay 2. Okay, this two yeah is worked. No problem. Uh, so this is very easy. And the next step, I will use the wall switch. I will show you how to configure FTD command with the wall switch. Because uh, now if you can press this button, you can see no any function. Can't work with the switch panel. So we just need to set FTD command. And let's look at we can use this IP address. You can see uh, this should be the Ethernet IP address. So we can log in by the web browser. Uh, you can use your computer. I uh, use this Ethernet IP address. Okay, I will use this Ethernet IP address. You can see I can open web browser window and input this IP address. And this is a login web page. And the default username is admin. And the default password also is admin. Okay, you can see uh, this have a FTDT and this is monit. You can see I can also you can see turn on and turn on uh, by this web page. Uh, this is web service without internet. So you can see when I click turn on turn on this tool relay, and you can see my Tuya mobile phone application also is updates and I turn off turn off. So. This time I want work with the switch panel. Just click FDDT. This you can create 32 FDD command. Uh, for example, I have create four uh, four gun. Just you can see the first one. I click edit, and I can rename for K1 and enable this FDD command. And the DI digital input one one is rising edge that means the button have pressed so you can click apply and when the digital input one is pressed i want to talking relay change the relay state so just click do do means digital output so you can see the talking relay one just input one at here apply and save and click ok the system will be reboot. Then you can see uh, we can test the uh, K1 whether it work. Okay, let's test it. This is the panel, and this is K1 and this is K2. You can see I can press this K1. You can see uh, the relay is on and the Tuya is on, and press relay is off. Tuya is off. So you can see I can press on and off, on and off. Use the first button, it's work well, no problem. So I just use this way, create the second, the fourth, and the three. So you can see I can back to my FTDT and edit the second one. I can rename K2 and enable this one. And this one is KDI2 and the rising edge, apply. And this is Relay to save and until I create uh, four channel of digital input uh, because if you want to use 32 channel you just create 32 buttons K3 because later I will show you how to use the interlock function and DI3 and the rising and this one 3 okay and the back 
and the next is K4. Enable the I4 and rising apply and this is 4. Okay, we can press save and reboot. And we can also click this monitor. And when we press this button, the, the uh, release date also will be changed. So let's test it. And you can see uh, this is K1. Okay, no problem. Really, when it's on. And uh, this is K2. Really, 2 is on. K3, really, 3 is on. And K4, really, 4 is on. So the 2 yeah, and the relay. And my, my compute, you can see, also is update. So I can close off. Okay, the next I will show you how to use the interlock. The, this is important function for motor because that will be protect the motor not broken. Because sometimes the channel 1 and the channel 2 really can't work at the same time. You can see uh, the output and just the interlock group. We can create the group. And if you use the zero, that means disable the interlock function. But if you choose any number, uh, for, for example, uh, I add this relay 1 and relay 2 to group, interlock group 1. And this one, I in, set to interlock group 2. So you can see, if I press this button, save, save, and after reboot, and let's test the monitor web page. Okay, and you can see, if I press this button, relay 1 is on, okay. And pay attention to my relay 2. If I press this relay 2, that will auto let relay 1 off. So you can see, this means the interlock function. And also you can see the 3 and the 4. The 3, 4, 3, 4. So this is the interlock. If disabled interlock, you can see, uh, this is no interlock function. So this is the interlock for the group we have created. We can also test with the uh, button and with the Tuya mobile phone application. And in this Tuya mobile phone application and the release date, you can see I press this button, button 1. This is on, off, on, off, on. Okay, but if I press this button 2, you can see the button 2 is on. Before button 2 is on, the button 1, the relay 1 must will be auto off. So you can see. So these two channel relay will not work at the same time. And also you can see the three and the four. You can see I can press this three, four, three, four, three, four, and pay attention to my Tuya mobile phone. Also you update the state uh, with the interlock mode. Okay, this is how to use the Tuya mobile phone and the digital input for switch panel and use the interlock for A32 Pro Relay controller. And if you use other models of Kinkoni product, also use KCS firmware and buy this way. Okay, thanks for watching.